Hello everyone and welcome back. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Zoom, how to install and use it, right? Both on your phone and computer. Now, most of you probably already know what Zoom is, but for those that don't, we're gonna go over it real quick. So to put it simply, Zoom is a software program developed by Eric Yon, right? I hope I said that right. And what it does is it allow multiple users to meet in a video chat or text chat for free. So let's break that down, right? So let's say you have a bunch of coworkers and you guys want to host a meeting. Zoom would be the perfect app for something like that. Uh, let's say you need to meet a doctor, but you have a busy schedule and so does he, and you guys don't have to meet face to face, but you do need to talk and he needs to be able to see you physically through a camera, right? Zoom would be perfect for something like that. Um, I personally have used things like uh, Zoom for things like interviewing for a job. I've used it before in the past uh, to talk to a doctor, especially during COVID times. And I have used it before to talk to my son's teachers, in fact, to at like a parent teacher conference. So there's many, many uses for Zoom. It's very versatile and it's a great utility. It makes it so that, again, you don't have to meet in person to have a meeting. That's pretty much the whole point of it. So it's a virtual meeting application or, or software for virtual meetings. I get a lot of calls all the time, people asking to get Zoom set up on their computer or their phone, because you can use it for both. Now, one of the really nice things I wanna point out about Zoom is Zoom can be used on Mac computers, Windows computers, Linux, you know, if you're running Linux operating system, if you have an Android device, Apple device, iOS, phone, right, Mac, all that stuff, available for all of it, and it's in every single major application store, right? So like the Google Play Store, the Apple App Store, it's in, the, it's in there and you can just download it very easily. Microsoft Store, same thing. The only people that can't really use it be these five countries right here. So other than these five countries where it's banned, you can use it. Other than that, everybody else is gonna be able to use it, right? Um, so let's start. Let's start out with Windows computers. And it's gonna be kind of for Windows and Mac computers lumped together because the process is relatively the same. It's basically the same thing. So let's check it out. So the first thing you're gonna do is navigate over to the Zoom download page at https colon forward slash forward slash zoom uh, dot us forward slash download. Make sure you remember that by heart. Do not forget it. I'm totally kidding. If you don't uh, you know, remember this or you don't remember this in the video, you could always just type Zoom download into your Google search. It's gonna come up with a website. Just make sure it's this uh, website, not some crazy URL that's gonna take you to a scam site. Just wanna make sure everybody knows where they're going and where they should go. So this is the proper website. Alternatively, if you don't feel like going and searching online or you're worried that you're gonna put the website in wrong, you can always go to the Microsoft Store on your Windows computer. If you're on an Apple device, you can go to the Apple Store, Apple App Store, or if you're on a Google, uh, again, Android phone or something that runs Google operating system like a Chrome OS uh, device, like a Chromebook, you're gonna wanna go to the Google Play Store. So any of those application stores respectively have this app, you can go in there and download it straight from there. So which I'm showing you right here real quick. Very easy. So that would be the first method. The sec second option here I'm showing you is you go to the website. I'm old school, I like the website. I'm not a big fan of the Microsoft Store, so I usually just go to the website and I'm gonna download it from there. Once you get to the website, you hit on download and you'll get the exe file. If you're on a Mac, you're gonna get the pkg file in your download up here, a little down arrow pointing towards the line. Once you get that open, you can open the file. Once you open the file, it's going to install Zoom. It's relatively quick. It's a very small download or small install, I should say. And once it's done, you will open up and you might get something like this. Now, the reason mine looks like this is because it automatically detected my Google account and signed me in, which is totally cool. I have it set up to do that, but you're mostly gonna get something that looks more like this, right? A sign in page that wants you to either make a Zoom account or sign into your Zoom account, or you could use your Facebook or Google, which is pretty awesome. This makes it quick. You can just sign in right here by hitting on that. It'll sign you in through Google or Facebook, respectively, depending on which one you click on. It makes it really easy to just get signed in. Now, you'll be able to use the application 100%, everything, all the features, just like you would if you made a separate Zoom account. So if you already have a Google and Facebook account, I recommend you just click on one of those options, get yourself signed in, and now you can start hosting and joining meetings. Right now, let's look at the same process, but from the phone. So the first step I'm going to do is go to my app store. Now I'm on an iPhone, so it's the app store, right? The icon that looks like this. But again, if you're an Android user, you're going to go to the Play Store and your icon is going to look something like this. Now, once you have the uh, app store open, you're going to go to your search. Now, iPhone, it's bottom right down here. Google Play, 
usually has that top bar that says search games and apps. And we're going to type in zoom and search right now for iPhone users. I will never stop pointing this out to you guys at the top. They will never put what you searched for. They will put some other application that they are trying to advertise to you. See here where it says ad. Yeah, they're trying to push that on you. But right under you will try, you will find the uh, actual thing you were looking for, right? Zoom workplace app and you can hit install. Mine says open because I already have it installed. Uh, if you don't have it installed, yours is going to yours is going to say um, install on it. So mine says open. I'm going to hit open and here we go. Now on the phone, you can see same options, right? Sign in with either your Facebook account or Google account. Alternatively, just like on the computer, you don't have to sign in. You could just start using the app. You can hit um, join a meeting without signing in and you're good to go. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe below and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.